Why do we repeat the same things time and time again? Some because we love doing them. Some we don't know we love doing them. Perhaps we think that's the only way to do them and that's the way we've always done them. So that's what we do. Starting from different viewpoints and different positions makes that statement work and in some instances don't work. So if it doesn't really serve you but you keep doing it, why do you keep doing it? I'm not sure. I do that. I paint every day because it's discipline, I love doing it. It's repeatable. There is no such thing as a mistake because you're creating, so that's what you're doing. There is no judgment on your own part. There may be from other people's, but that's their own judgment. So that's that's their own judgment. That's okay. Whoop. Um, and then if you're doing something and you don't know you're doing it and you're trying to achieve a different outcome, how do you stop yourself from keep on doing the same thing, going down the same track? What do you have to change? We have to realise what you're doing in the first place isn't going to get you the result you expected. It will always get the result you got before, which is perhaps desirable one time, but not desirable now or desirable at different times. Deciding which one it is. If you're stuck, you know, to be aware of it is one thing. If you're not aware of it, how do you do that? Do you just wait for your unconscious mind to say, Oi! Oi! Stop doing that! Don't want that bit in there. Whatever it is, get out of it. Get out! Or do you have to constantly go through testing what you know is right and what isn't right and what could be right and what should be right and what isn't? Or breaking it, being prepared to break it. Are you prepared to break it and lose other things? It's oh, a big question. Quite a hard question. While I'm doing that, I'm still thinking what I'm going to do here. But it is a hard question. And has really thinking got to do anything anything about it? I'm not sure. Ooh, lovely. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Or just by allowing yourself to do something that you wouldn't normally do and letting your mind have free reign over it and say, well, wow, that's interesting, what do we do? And I think that's what painting does for me, and what creating does. You're allowing things just to happen and view them and think, oh, wow, didn't expect that, but I, I didn't expect anything, I was just gonna do something and coming out with your norm. Where am I gonna go with that? Gonna take that up there, up there, up there, up there, up there, up there. And do that just there. But I don't want any more of that in there because I want to do something else. I want to keep that kind of look on there. So I'm gonna use a this trowel and maybe put some extra pressure on it. Oh, I like that bit. Yeah, let's have a this. Let's take that down there. And then bring in another colour on top of that. And that will be, no, I would like something turquoise or something. And the turquoise colour. That's 
good. Oh, don't want that in there. Whatever it is. Don't care. Go away. We'll just make that into a, a thing. Let's make that into a thing. There's no such thing as a mistake. Whoops, not that one. This one. Put that onto there. Just give your mind half a chance to discover what its potential is and what you self can teach yourself. And you will come up with things you never thought possible. Like that. Do I want to put that on there? Probably. Somewhere. There. And I love doing that. Covering up what you've just done. It's just good fun. Yeah, I like that. Mostly. Because although it's there, and you can see it's there, and it's recorded that it's there, it's no longer the mostly there. It's just been taken out. Ah, <sighs> can you do that? Yes, you can. Take that out. Yeah, that's good. Don't ask me how that's finished, but it is. <laughs>